Welcome to Access 23, um, the Singer-Songwriters Workshop. Uh, we are meeting today, and uh, I'm going to start us off with a song that I've written, and Elliot is going to accompany me. I'm Elliot Kane, and I'm the host, and, and this is Celeste Aldridge. She's our co-host. <laughs> A child of our own to build a love around. He would have a home inside me for a while. Then come forth to seek his father's smile. What a joy to conceive the thought. A child of our own. A child of our own. running stream out to a healing sea. Simple joys of three at morning tea. What a joy to conceive the thought, a child of our own. But the greatest of these is love. With love all things are possible, and our faith will light the path for us. Just trust that this moment could be possible. Surely this must be God's gift to us. Just trust, just trust a child of our some new songwriters to our workshop tonight. Next up, we have Fred Romano. Who's okay. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm Fred Romano. I'm from Hackstown, New Jersey, and it's my first time uh, on this show. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, this first song is called Those People. Arthur came up to the table Asked to choose what he would serve Eat whatever you're able Just beware the poison cup But he rolled snake eyes at the table When Jackie handed him the dice a Couple of throws and three martinis would not be cheap one tenth the price. Kelly got down from her mattress. She was done for the day. No one liked her direction. For her, it was the only way. 
she gets a flopping food each evening. This little game she gets to play, spends all her spare time pretending. Someday something good will come her way. Paul played in Maimon High School. He knew fame would come his way. Acting had been his life for the last six months. He had that high school extra credit, eh? There was no money for college. It was great, sucked. Anyway, he was starved of useless knowledge. So for him there's certain roles that he can't play So here we are in Prayville. No black or white, only shades of gray. Everything we do here is etched in stone. We're stable as a dead man in his grave. Don't ask about the details. Names change like numbers on a clock. So let's get supersized free refills. Buy the nicest car on the block Thank you. Apparently not. Is this on, guys? Yeah. Okay. The purpose of this workshop is to work on songs and make them stronger, and to make them, you know, more commercial, well, better, better songs. Okay. Okay. So, um, what we do after each song is, is just so you know, since you're new here, we talk about your song. Uh, I've, I've seen the show. Okay, okay, you know, okay, good. You know the rules. Right. Um, I like the song, I like the rhythm, the beat. It was sort of like a take a walk on the wild side kind of groove. Uh, it was a groovy take a walk on the wild side, you know? Okay. It had, it had that kind of uh, story behind it. And last week we talked about doing story songs, so this fits in with the <laughs> genre. My only, uh, my only comment would be I was waiting for you to break out into a chorus because it was verse, 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 verse. It was an A, 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 A format. There was no B, there was no C. I, I think it, you would strengthen that song if you had a B, you know, section, a, a chorus section, or something that would bring the listener some repetitive, uh, you know, a hook there. But other than that, the verses, from what the words that I caught, um, I, I found them very interesting and want to hear more of it. That's my comment. I thought, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a little more, uh, I'm not as like structural as Elliot is, so for me, you know, the A, B, and all that. I, I, I mean, to me, it reminded me of Dylan's song. Like, it just kind of keeps going. But my, my problem was I couldn't catch all the words. So, but part the one the parts I did catch they were funny, like the, the the education and his his grades sucked anyway and all that. But but I was trying so hard to you know, because that that's really the meat, the meat of the song is obviously the story, you know. So I couldn't I couldn't catch it. Um, so. But I, I, you know, I liked, I liked the vibe of it, you know, so that's all I have to say. I'd like to see the lyrics or hear it again. Maybe you could sign, no? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll try and sing a little bit closer to the mic next time. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what it is, yeah. Hi, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And I, I caught a lot of the lyrics and, and I, I heard some funny ones. <laughs> and uh, yeah, very good guitar. I enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Dude, you're awesome. I don't. I really, I really like the funkadelic, jazzy rock mix that you're you're coming forth with. You know, it's it's awesome yeah, because the group. It, exactly your rhythm was on the yeah. whole time. You didn't slip up once, yeah. and then the ending is kind of like a big 
you know, a toss up, which was even better for me because coming from the genre of music that I listen to, no one really does that anymore. Mm -hmm. And then listening to you do it was it was it was awesome, man. I, I have to you know I have to give that one to you. That was pretty sick. Oh well, well thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, I'll be back. My name is uh, Anthony Barber. I was on episodes three and four. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna give you guys kind of a, a punky, rocky mix right now. But uh, this song's called Broken Smile. smile laced with a lack of heart that's a stop without a start comatose causes a broken heart leave it to me to let this one bleed Leave it to you to walk like you always do away from us, but you don't care. But you don't care. So just walk away. Like you always do Turn around cause you think that you have a point to prove My heart is weak and I'm still crying Deep down I feel like I'm dying But I still love you I still love you That was great. <laughs> I really, you know, I like that jolt, the jolt of the chorus. And as usual, you, you know, you're, you're emotion packed, and uh, it's the real deal. So it's not like the jolt wasn't just there, you know, to be commercial or in any way. It was like a, the real deal. So it really jolted me, and I like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a real emotion. You can tell. I mean, it's it's a great song.
I, th I think of the songs that I've heard from you so far, that one is the most commercial. Um, you know, and if I, I heard it with the whole band in my head, yeah, it sounded like a band song, you know. But I can I can hear, you know, it's it, it's definitely uh, radio ready, you know. And I think you should you should record it and and get it out there. Thank you. That was good. I liked it quite a bit myself. Um, uh, you, you did have a lot of emotion in there, and that, that jolt from the chorus, uh, it really brings it home. It, it, it makes you pay attention in the middle of the song when things are starting to fade off a little bit. I, I thought that was great. Thank you. Hi. Okay, this song, I woke up and it wrote itself. And I heard Willie Nelson singing it. So if Willie's listening out there, this one's for you. Okay. Um, I don't know where it came from. It just arrived one day from, oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Just arrived one day. Here we go. Are you ready? Roll them. Hi, I'm Elliot Kane. <laughs> Hi. If today was my last day, what would I do? Would I race fast cars, climb a mountain? Would I go to work or meditate about my life? Or simply spend the day holding hands with you? If today was my last day, what would I do? Would I pace myself for a run, a marathon? Would I try to do all the things I've never done? Simply spend the day holding hands with you. If today was my last day on earth, if I should never see you again, for I lay my head down for the long sleep I'd spend my last day with you. If today was my last day, what would I do? Would I swim with sharks or smell the flowers? Would I parachute jump to complete my bucket list or simply spend the day? And watch the sunset with you If today was my last day on earth If I should never see you again Before I lay my head down For the long sleep I'd spend my last day with you Kiss on my lips, I'd spend my last day with you. On the day of my last day, what you should do, don't you shed a tear, please have a celebration. Invite all the ones I've touched with my life, simply spend the day holding them close to you. Simply spend the day holding me close to you. I, I've I've heard this song already, and I, I I did you change the last the last verse there about you know remembering. No, no oh, oh it's, I, I really love the last verse, and uh, I actually got like goosebumps from that. <clears throat> and um, what I really love about the song, well, not only the guitar and, and the melody, it's very sweet, um, but I love the, the way the lyrics, you, you totally go there, like you don't hold back. I mean, it's, you know, it's very, it's very bittersweet, but uh, it, 
it, like I'm, uh, sometimes I'm afraid to go there because I feel like I'm going to be corny. <laughs> you oh, know, <laughs> but <laughs> hello, I'm corny. No, no, but 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 you you really you really go there and um, it's not corny because you do the, you reveal the whole you know emotion and uh, it's very effective and you know I can see how a lot of people could hear that song and obviously relate to it because we all lose you know we've all lost and uh, I can really see how that could touch a lot of people and it's really special. And the melody and the guitar accompaniment is, is beautiful. Anybody? Yeah. I, uh, I really enjoyed your lyrics. Like, they, they paint a picture. In other words, you know, like, I could visualize, if I close my eyes, I could visualize this whole scenario mm -hmm. from day one to the ending day. And it, I don't know, I thought it was beautiful, in other words, just so to speak, I guess. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, yeah, one of the things I noticed about it uh, right off the bat is just, um, it's really a guys for a love song. Uh, uh, it, it, it is very beautiful. Uh, the other thing that I noticed, that um, I had this weird sense of humor, and I, I thought about swimming with the sharks and running a marathon. <laughs> and if I were to try and do that, it would be my last day. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have Celeste back up. Elliot. Elliot asked me to pick a topic of discussion for the song, for songwriting, and I thought, um, you know, for me, it's always hard to know when I'm when I'm when I finished a song. So I was just looking online, and uh, you know, obviously, there's everything online nowadays. When is a song finished? And they had they had a bunch of different things to consider. Now, again, I am like so not the person to do stuff like this, but it, it's kind of you know, it's. Actually, I am one to do stuff like this, but I never really thought about it. So I'm just gonna kind of read this guy's list um, when he feels he can say his song is complete. Um, and I'll just read the list. Is the meaning of my lyric as clear as it could be? Um, now for me, I know that's where I stress most of my time is like the, the lyrics, you know, and the, and the way it, it all flows. Um, will most listeners be able to come away with the message that I hope to convey? Um, does the rhyme scheme of the lyric work well? Did I include enough rhymes or did I make it too rhymey? In either case, does that detract from the overall message I'm trying to convey? Does my lyric contain a solid, easily memorable hook? Again, for me, that's like, I never, you know, I don't even go there, but, you know, I, I understand the value of that. Um, in other words, is there something built into the lyric that's catchy and repeated that will help make the listener want to hear the song again? Um, are all the verses solid, or do, do I need to rewrite one of them? Does you know, one verse seem a bit weak? I think a lot of us, when we're anxious to get the whole song done, we might you know, need to go back and like, you know, like tweak it a bit. But you, sometimes, you know, I know when I'm writing, I'm just trying to get that whole thought done, and this, you know, not to mention the melody and everything. Um, uh, let's see, is my title catchy or cool? Will it be easy for people to remember? Um, will other people find my lyrics interesting? If not, why not? Should I change something to make it a bit easier to identify with? Does, my me does the meter of my lyric, the feel and flow, sound natural when it's sung? Um, now see again, like, I felt like the song that you just did, it, it had a choppiness to it, but it, wor it, it worked. It was conversational, it was, it was you. You know, and the more we get to know each other, you know, I, I, I thought it was great. So. But then again, like the song I did was very flowy and like legato. It just is the personality of the song. So in a way, I don't really know if that, that really jives. Um, I think what he means is sometimes the Don't forget the mic. I, I think by that, what you just said, yeah. I think he means that sometimes the, the, the lyrical flow doesn't flow well with the music. Maybe, and, yeah. And that's, that's where we have, you know, that's yeah. where we might have some conflict. Right. Um, so there's a bunch of other ones, but anyway, anybody have any thoughts of, any, of anything I just read? Well, it's important to know when to when to stop. <laughs> yeah. But but you know what they they always say is you know um, writers write and songwriters rewrite, mm. and and that's a, a good thing to put in the back of your mind. You know, it's always good to go back even a year later and sometimes revisit a song and, and maybe make it stronger. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every songwriter rewrites, and great songwriters rewrite the most. Right. Um, I heard that this guy, I don't know if you know Lennon Cohen, he did Hallelujah. Of he, course, yeah. yeah. He has a book with, uh, like, you know, he might write 400 verses to a song and then pick 10. 
Wow. He, yeah. he obviously yeah. had a lot of time to do that. A lot of time. Not a nine to five exactly. jobber kind of but, guy. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's the way, you know, he, he you know, he's he ama he an about. amazing songwriter. I mean, he's almost can't compare the way he writes. So, uh, but how do you know when it's done? That's a good question. Yeah. How do you know when it's done? <laughs> when I've completed the thought, um, Normally when I, I, I write, I, I have uh, an introductory verse. I usually write in three verses. Uh, I, I do an introductory of, of what my thought is, and then I uh, bring it out, and then I try and close it. Um, I, I've written four and five verses in Psalms, but that's basically the way I work. Um, uh, um, I usually do know when my songs are done. I've, I've written quite a few, and. Uh, they, they seem to be pretty good. Uh, people like, seem to like them, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I usually go by, uh, uh, I'll either start with an introduction and then a verse, leading into a pre-chorus, a chorus, leading out into a verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and either a bridge to an ending or a bridge to an ending chorus. Um, and I know the song's done when my idea is completely down on paper and I know all the emotion complete is set there. So once the end of the song hits, mm -hmm. it's usually when the emotion right. stops. Yeah. Another, another way of looking at when your song is done too is um, the product. Like for me, there's two different stages of when my song is done in that respect. Um, since I'm not a really great musician, I just I clunk out my song on the keyboard you know, and I write out the chords, and then I tape it on this little digital tape recorder I have, and then I send it to, to whoever I think might want to accompany me, like for instance, Elliot, and then Elliot will arrange it. So there's also different aspects of when your song is done in the recording realm, you know? Is it just done enough to, you know, to share it with uh, your, your bandmate, or is it done enough that to put it on a listening site? Is it done enough that you want to sell it, you know? So that's another way to look at, you know, when your song is done too. <laughs> producing a song is a completely different technique and, and yeah. skill set than writing the song. I mean, I find that I can write a song in 10 minutes and it could take me a year to produce it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Right, uh, right. That's true. Okay, uh, that's another topic. Yeah, producing <laughs> is, is definitely. But yeah. and when, when it's done to, to written, yeah. I, th I think um, revisiting the, lyric, the lyrical content and making sure that, you know, the lyric expresses the idea of the song mm -hmm. and that it's a whole a whole complete thought from mm -hmm. you know there's a beginning middle and end that takes the listener through a journey mm -hmm. that's when I, I i like to think that it's done okay are you done, <laughs> <laughs> Never done. okay and that <laughs> okay and this time we're going to discuss it <laughs> oh sure pick that one <laughs> It is. It, this is what <laughs> I just didn't know where else to go with it. So. Oh, I, I like this song because it's kind of out of the realm of what I usually write. It's not necessarily my best song, but it's kind of the gist of it. That bites her into bits Inside she tries to gather up the girl That slips right through her hands Outside she's pieces, all smile creases As if she understands Why things got a little out of hand Or is she mad? Has she had it? Goodbye, she's tired Together, fly up above. I've got nowhere to turn. 
I know this song is a little bit hard to understand, but basically, like I was saying, it's, it's about a girl who um, is being abused and she runs away. That's like where it's dead, you know, sheets tied, hung outside of her window. And she runs away and then she's in her car and she's just like crying out and all of a sudden this angel comes and scoops her up and saves her. That's what, that's what it's about. So, any, any critiques? <laughs> Uh, I don't know why a song has to be a certain length. It seems like a complete thought to me, right? A, a, just as it is. Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> um, I don't. I, I think that adding to it would would uh, would detract from it at this point. Um, it's okay to have short songs. Hmm. Uh, I have I have a few. Um, go with it. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of happy with it too, because because I, f I feel like the imagery is there if you if you can listen to the words and go with it. The imagery is there, and if I added more, it would kind of just be like beating a dead horse, kind of. That's, so. <laughs> that, ha that can happen very easily. Yeah. I really like the chorus, only because it's, it's so catchy. Yeah. And compared to the rest of the song, lyric-wise, like, all the lyrics come together no matter what. Yeah. So I think as short as the song is, it's still considered a full-length song. Like cool. Fred was saying. It's still, it, it really does come together well. Thanks. Yeah, I enjoyed it, and... Um, going back to your first song, uh -huh. I just adored that song. I oh. thought it was really nice, and it moved me, actually. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, uh, you can leave the lyrics the way it is, and you can add, like, a lead break or something to, to stretch out. Uh, the right, right, like a guitar production, solo. production, yeah, yeah, something. Because yeah. it is a rock song, and I really like the, uh, the C sharp diminish that, that you put in there, which is an unusual chord to, to have, and um, I like the dissonance of it. Cool. And I really like that first song, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Okay, again, this is Ideals Epilogue, and here we go. We fought the good fight, their swords to our pens, but we were kept out of sight. As a means to their ends But we stayed that true course Riding on that dead horse And we wouldn't give in Followed that course to the end And we lost friends in those days As they died or changed ways Thoughts on t-shirts and tags Became grounds to raise flags And those who died all alone Now have their name on a stone And when the win for the ideal had come We went to find a new one Was it all so clear way back then? Were we something to cheer? Could we do it again? The mirror is distorted. We cannot turn around. Our deeds can't be retorted. They're the rock on which we're found. Day my body whitens I'm bleached by my age Death's grip a little tightens But my dreams have no cage Of my ideals I find None out there quite mine So I live day by day Seeking out the best way Was it all so clear way back then? 
Well, we sung in a cheer. Can we do it again? The mirror is distorted. We cannot turn around. Our deeds can't be retorted. They're the rock on which we're found. I like the ending, it was very cool. And I, I, got, I got more of the gist of, I, could, I heard a lot more of the lyrics and uh, it sounded like it was kind of about like a, our, well, like a, almost like a shallowness in society now. And uh, um, you said something about the mirror being distorted. And anyway, I got, I got the gist of it and um, it was easier to latch on, you know, which, because if, if I can't get the lyrics, I just, I just phase out, so <laughs> oh, okay. I, was able to, I was able to get it, and uh, I liked it. I mean, you have the same kind of groove as the other one, and it was cool. Uh, same thing I said for the first uh, song, that, that Funkadelic Rock. <laughs> it, it was awesome, man. I, I really can't get over the fact that it's so awesome. I've, I've never really uh, listened to the kind of music that you play, so sitting here, Listening to it now, I, I realize I'm gonna go home and search up. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna type in. Funkadelic rock. <laughs> Hopefully, something uh, like your music comes on. I really like the groove of the guitar and the whole feel of it and the energy of it. But frankly, I, I had no idea what the lyric. I couldn't catch the lyrical content or the theme of the song, and, and that I, I just couldn't catch it from the lyrics. What you were saying? What were you talking about? But I like the song. Oh, I mean, okay. okay. I, if, if I read the lyrics, I probably could get it, but I didn't catch it from the first listening as to what that song was about. Oh, what was right. the song about? Um, it's about uh, uh, how we, um, we work towards our ideals, and when we finally achieve them, uh, they're not really what we want. Um, this next song is, uh, I guess I could call it my comeback song. Um, it's really, really old, I'd say maybe three three years ago I wrote it and it's kind of what got me back into playing with bands and uh, that's how me and Tom kind of met each other was because he heard me playing this pretty much. Uh, this song's called Tears of an Angel. She takes her makeup off with tears Slowly turning around with all those years Yet only her eyes have seen Those cryptic lies with their crushed wings As they fall from the sky She has faced all her fears Washing the pain away with hate and lies unforgiven So when the time does fly, the sun will set and rise in a darkened sky Cause I can hear you crying up there So worry you're not alone no heavens away from here, but I can take you home. And tears of an angel fall from the sky. They come on down from heaven's eyes. And do not worry, I hear your cries. I can save you tonight. I can catch you if you fall. have never been this bad Everything crumbles so hope just disappears Yet only your eyes have seen the blasphemous lies and greed that sits stare back in her Cause I can hear you crying up there To worry you're not alone 
No heavens away from here, but I can take you home. It's tears of an angel fall from the sky. They come on down from heaven's eyes. Do not worry, I hear your cries. I can save you tonight. I can catch you if you fall. It's tears of an angel fall from the sky. They come on down from heaven's eyes. And do not worry, I hear your cries. I can save you tonight. I can catch you if you fall. There's great imagery in, in the lyrics, and uh, I mean, it was heavy. <laughs> um, and it made me feel like it, heavy, but it was, that's good, because it made me, you know, it was effective. Um, and I really liked what you did it with the guitar. I, I have no clue how to speak what I'm trying to say, because I can't play, but, <laughs> but it was really cool. <laughs> so, excellent. <laughs> Yeah, another great one. Um, I love your voice, and it works so well with these type of songs because you almost sound like you have a cry in your voice, and you have almost a tear, you know, and it pulls pulls your emotional strings when you you know have that cry in your voice. Um, it works very well with the guitar and the, the, the uh, open tunings or not open tunings. I'm not sure. It's actually the all flatted. Flatted, so. flatted D flat, but yeah, still e it works. It works very well. Thank you. Yeah, and the chords, the chords. Are I didn't even know, but it, uh, the chords, the chords work with with song and, and the imagery of the uh, lyric. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's very very good. Um, you you did uh, it, it does work very very well with your voice and with the uh, the chording of the guitar. Um, the uh, imagery from the lyrics, um, it it, uh, it is it is a little bit different. Um, Nothing I've, I've heard quite like that before, but uh, that's what originality is all about. Thank you. <laughs> Every week we, uh, we assign songwriters who have to particip participate a, uh, an assignment to write a cha challenge to write a, a new song with some sort of uh, a theme or a story, whatever. So this week, I wrote a song with a story. Dust my horse kicked up, settled on the trail. The only lights from the fire of my camp. The moon's a quarter full, the stars all abound. The only sound is of the crickets and the owls. And somewhere far away there sleeps a lady. In a town she removes her fancy gown. Takes off her lipstick and rouge Cause the night she sleeps alone This morning I left there To find my way back home Let us I let the fire burn all night Keeps the animals away And I think about the town I just left behind City life is fine for some, but not for me. Fast living and fast women is not my style. And somewhere far away there sleeps my lady. On a farm she removes her jeans and blouse. Takes the ribbon that tie her hair, lays it gently on the bed. Cause tonight she got my message, but I'm on my way back home. Two years, every month's been since I left my home And I wonder if I left it all Why I left it all? In my youth I was searching for the golden stars All I needed was waiting for me home A 
thought I'd be going home, my pockets filled with gold. I guess I've been wrong again. And this old horse sure knows that I'm stubborn like a mule. Learn the hard way every time. Yes, yeah, somewhere far away there sleeps my lady. Dreams about a man alone on a trail. As the fire burns down low and the time she spent alone, there's a smile in her eyes. Cause the last I'm going home. Somewhere far away there sleeps my lady Just waiting to hold her man once again And I try to apologize She just hushed me up inside But there's a smile in her eyes Cause at last to find me home The smile in her eyes So at last I'll find me home song. Um, I wasn't really sure uh, what the story was really about. Um, okay. <laughs> Guy on a trail going home. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, he left the town. He's coming to us later. Pretty, pretty. Uh, no, that's the story, I guess. Um, <laughs> simple story. Very simple story. Oh, okay. Um, it, 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 uh, it, um, I, I like the idea that it was uh, 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 kind of a country-themed kind of a song, especially with the idea that... Yes, ma'am. <laughs> especially... Uh, it, you, you worked it out with the lyrics very well on that count. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I'll pass it on here. He has passed it on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I really do like the story. Um, I, you already explained it, so I'm not gonna, you know, say exactly what the story was. It's just a man on a trail coming home to his woman. He's been away for a while. He's yeah. Went half a gold, but you know, everything was waiting for him. Oh. Yeah. My favorite, my favorite lyric was actually when you said you were wrong again. That was really it's just like a. Again. Yeah. That was that was actually <laughs> like I was like oh he was wrong again. <laughs> so it, it was kind of it was really a cool lyric, and then when the when the story started to continue on and it ended up towards uh, you know when you tried to say sorry. To him and she uh, she hushed you. She just hushed me up and sat. Yeah, that was that was really <laughs> that was yeah it was a really good lyric and I. Well, I tried to put myself in the position in in the brain set of this guy in the old west who went out to find fortune and gold, and you know he just came out of a a, a whorehouse actually in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. He left a girl a woman who was in a fancy dress in town to go back home to his farm farm where his lady was. Waiting. Really awesome lyrics. I really yeah, like the story it. about the 1800s. You know, yeah. the gold rush. Um, I love I love the song and I loved um, the the way that the feel of the, the the melody and the you know the guitar work. It went so well, but it wasn't like in a hokey way where it was like real country. Um, and also the beginning lyric got it confused me a little bit because he was leaving a woman and it, but coming home to him. So I didn't quite catch. But now now I understand it, and I'm sure after like another listen, I would I would have gotten it. And um, yeah, I love. Yeah, she removed a fancy gown, took off a little. Yeah, rouge. right, because it was fancy, and his wife just yeah. removed her simple blouse fancy and jeans living, and her ribbon. Is just not yeah, style. yeah, okay, got it. And I also really like the lyric um, where you said your horse knows how st you're stubborn as a mule. <laughs> I thought that was really good. Um, I really loved it. It was very sweet and warm. I mean, it, it, the, the the sound of the guitar and the guitar work, along with the way you were singing, was like it, I felt like you know, like sunshine. It was just so warm and. Uh, and you know the message was really simple, and it told a great story—a simple story that's happened to a bazillion people. So I thought it was great. Thanks. Any other comments? Well, we have about two minutes left. 
right? There. And we want to thank all the new songwriters who came here. You. <laughs> Fred Romano, <laughs> Anthony Barbara, Celeste Aldridge, and Elliot King. Um, I don't think, it, it's up to you guys if you want to stick around for another show or not. Um, if you can't, then we'll conclude it tonight and we'll do another one in on the 5th, I think it is. Don't forget to say like how to get on the show. If you would like to be on the show, just go to Songwriters Workshop on uh, Songwriters Workshop TV on Facebook. And just let us know you want to come, and we're looking for more songwriters, people who uh, really uh, are talented and um, enjoy the art of songwriting. Come back, please.